Welcome to the first video in this introductory series on how to use Substance 3D Modeler. Modeler allows you to switch between VR and desktop mode, and this series focuses on VR with occasional uses on desktop as needed. If you're only interested in desktop usage, please see the desktop-focused intro series. This video covers basic use of the VR controllers, UI navigation, and basic preference settings. A quick note that Modeler is actively being updated and expanded. The version shown in the video series here might look slightly different from the version you're using, but functionality should remain the same. When you first start up Modeler, you'll see an empty scene with a scene origin, shown here with this dotted plus, and these two controllers. The one on your right is your tool hand, and on your left is your support hand. Each controller has a grip button on the inside, a trigger button on the front, two thumb buttons, upper and lower, and a thumbstick. Think of your tool hand as your main controller, and the tool hand trigger is like a main use button, or left mouse click. It's how you use your tools and change things in UI panels. Think of your support hand as exactly that, and the support hand trigger is an alternative use button, similar to holding the shift key. It is often used as a secondary use button. Tool usage will be covered in much greater depth later in the series, but for now you can place a blob of clay using the tool hand trigger on the front of your tool hand. Having a little clay in your scene can help orient yourself if you're feeling a little turned around. To grab and move your scene, use these grip buttons on the inside of your controllers. Pressing and holding either one lets you grab and move the scene around you. Release to stop grabbing. A quick way of navigating is alternating between the two buttons. Pressing and holding both grip buttons, then moving your hands apart or together, allows you to zoom in or out of your scene. You'll be using these grip buttons often while sculpting, but if you find yourself oriented in a strange way to your scene, say, if it happens to appear behind you when you put your headset on, use these to get yourself back into the position that you want. Modeler has intentionally fairly minimal UI. Your main UI is the tool palette, which you can access by holding the X button on your support hand. You'll see your tools on the left, tool settings in the middle, and some quick options on these right columns. Interact with the UI by selecting things with the tool hand trigger. While the tool palette is open, if you flip the tool hand thumbstick left or right, the palette will swap for the actions menu. The actions menu contains several layer actions, properties, and visibility settings, often context sensitive. You can view both menus by pulling the tool hand thumbstick down, and you can hide both menus by pushing the thumbstick up. Left and right will go back to individual views and release the X button to hide the palette. Lastly is the color picker, which you access by hovering your tool hand cursor over this icon near the lower inside of your support hand. The color picker will stay open as long as you hover over the UI, and will close when you move away. Currently, some UI can only be accessed on desktop, so just take off your headset for this next part. If you want to switch to a left-handed setup, the Preferences menu is located here in the Edit dropdown. It can also be brought up with Control k From there, you can change left-handed settings for VR under Spatial, and toggle it here. The button mapping for the controllers will be reversed, which hand the UI appears on, and the order of the panels. So for example, your left hand becomes the tool hand, and your right hand becomes the support hand. The tool trigger is on the left, the support trigger is on the right. Holding the B button brings up the tool palette, and the panels will be right to left. Everything being shown in this series will be from a right-handed setup, so if you're using a left-handed layout, just keep in mind that actions using the B and A buttons on the right controller will instead be mapped to the Y and X on the left controller. Back to desktop. All of your saving and loading options are found here in the file dropdown. Modeler saves out files in the SMOD format. By default, they're saved in your saves folder of your Adobe Substance 3D Modeler directory, but they can also be saved elsewhere. Modeler has autosave on by default. If Modeler crashes, you can try to load the autosaved file found in your saves folder in autosave. If you're working on a large file, your autosave will also be large, so if that isn't something that you want, you can toggle it off in the Preferences menu found here. Once a file has been saved, you'll get an option in VR to save it, here in your tool palette. And that will wrap up part one in this series on using Modeler in VR. Next up in part two, we'll be covering the basic sculpting tools, clay, erase, smooth, and warp, along with some tool and placement settings.